This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Since ChatGPT Vision was released, I've been using it in different ways as a data analyst, and I found it very useful when dealing with some tasks. In today's video, we're going to see how to make the most of ChatGPT Vision as data analysts. So let's get started. All right, ChatGPT Vision is available for ChatGPT Plus subscribers. And in case you're one of them, what you have to do is go to GPT-4 and just go to default. And if you have Vision available for you, you'll see this icon on this, uh, on this box. And well, now I'm going to show you some use cases that I found when working with ChatGPT Vision. And first, I'm going to click here to upload an image. And the first image I have here is this one. This is a sales analysis dashboard. And in this dashboard, we see different visualizations. And I can share this image with ChatGPT to get some insights and some quick analysis. So what I'm going to do is close this and then upload it so we can analyze it with ChatGPT. And what I'm going to say is this make a quick analysis of this sales dashboard. And this is very simple. Now I press enter. All right, ChatGPT finished with the quick analysis based on the image of the dashboard I shared, and it generated five points. And probably each point corresponds to one of the visualizations that we have here. First, we have the over, overview metrics, which is the numbers that we see here, the first numbers. Then we have revenue and profit trends, then sales volume by country, which is this one, the second on the right, then top 10 countries and top, top 10 products. So we have like a quick analysis for each visualization that we have. But let's say that we want to get some insights overall of that whole dashboard. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to uh, to draw some conclusions from the dashboard. All right, ChatGPT generated seven insights from the dashboard that we shared before. And this is very cool because you can have a very good idea of what the dashboard is about in just a couple of minutes. All right, now this comes very very useful when you are not able to understand a specific visualization. For example, in this case, I just shared this dashboard and I just wanted to get an overview of this. But in other cases, we are just not able to understand some visualizations because there are some visualizations that are uncommon and we sometimes are not familiar with. So ChatGPT can help you understand visualizations that we are not familiar with. And I'm going to show you how to do this later. But before we do this, I want to show you another cool use case of ChatGPT Vision. And this is generating LaTeX formulas for your Jupyter Notebooks. So if you've been using Jupyter Notebooks, you know that in some notebooks, there are some math formulas with those math symbols. And if you want to generate such symbols, you need to learn something called LaTeX. That's, uh, let's say, a programming language, and it has different commands for math symbols. And well, in the past, you needed to learn LaTeX. But right now, you can simply give the screenshot of a math formula and tell ChatGPT to generate the LaTeX code for you. And then you only have to copy and paste to Jupyter Notebooks, and then you get your math formula on Jupyter Notebook. And I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to click on Attach Images, and then I'm going to select some other images I have here. So I have here some math formulas, for example, this equation that you see here, and then these two. So equation and quadratic equation. So I'm going to upload two. And by the way, you can upload multiple files at the same time. And then I'm going to give the following prompt. Translate this math formula to LaTeX, and then press Enter. All right, ChatGPT for some reason didn't generate the code, so I'm going to specify that I want the code. All right, as you can see, I asked ChatGPT to give me the LaTeX code and also to adapt it to Jupyter Notebook, because in Jupyter Notebook, we need to add the dollar signs to correctly display the formula. So here I have the lines of code, so I'm going to copy the first one, then go to Jupyter Notebook, and what you have to do here is first locate a cell and then go here and click on markdown. That's the markdown cell and then paste the code that we generated before, then run this. And as you can see, now we have the formula. If you double click, you get the, the code. And if you run this, you get that formula. So I'm going to do the same with the second line of code. So now click here, markdown, and then paste the code, run this and you get again the formula. 
and this is very cool but sometimes you don't have like the screenshot available because here I showed you the screenshot of these two formulas and this is something that I got from the internet but sometimes sometimes we don't have the screenshot available and in those cases what we have to do is simply write in a piece of paper the math symbol that we want to translate to LaTeX code and you can write it on a piece of paper or in a whiteboard and well I'm going to show you an example of this and this works wonders with ChatGPT Vision so here I have uh, two handwritten math formulas and I'm going to uh, upload it to ChatGPT and then I'm going to ask ChatGPT to translate this to LaTeX and also to adapt it to Jupyter Notebook. So I press enter and now let's wait some seconds. All right, we have the code, the first and the second image. First, let's copy the code of the handwritten uh, math symbols. And here again, markdown, you can use the shortcut M and then run this. And here we have the formula and you can do the same with the second that was in uh, the whiteboard and that's it that's how you generate math formulas or math symbols in Jupyter notebooks all right now let's continue with something that i mentioned before and this is giving ChatGPT the visualization that you don't understand or you're unfamiliar with and asking it to provide an explanation so here I have some visualizations that i had uh, trouble understanding because i was a bit unfamiliar with them and this comes from a data analysis that i was reading the other day and well these are heat maps and well the heat map that i didn't understand was this one and by the way the analysis that i'm talking about is this one that is finding the best mario kart character according to data science and well as you can see there are many heat maps and i wasn't able to understand quickly the meaning of this heat map basically what i wasn't able to understand was why this heat map had different zeros in this row and also in this other row in this second heat map i didn't understand this i sometimes i don't use heat maps so often in my visualizations that's why i forgot or i just didn't know why and what i did was give it to chat gpt then i uh, use this prompt these are images from a data analysis code and here i give just some detail about this analysis and i do this because it can help ChatGPT to provide better results and then i ask ChatGPT to help me understand that image so here i press enter all right ChatGPT generated a quick explanation of this heat map and well you can see an overview and some details of the elements in this heat map like the color scheme and then it uh, focuses on the body heat map which is the first in this image and then the tire heat map which is the second and in this explanation it didn't mention so much about the zeros in these two rows and what i did was ask a second question why there are multiple zeros in the standard card and in the standard row and it gave me an explanation it basically mentions that is about the baseline those are baselines and well now i have a better understanding of what this heat map is about and well that's it that's how you can use chat gpt vision as a data analyst and well if you wonder if chat gpt vision is going to replace data scientists or data analysts what i can tell you is that if you develop your analytical thinking that's not going to happen to you because that's not something that machines are able to do and an app that I've been using a lot to improve my analytical thinking is Brilliant.org, which is the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is the best way to learn math, data science, and computer science interactively. It has thousands of lessons from foundational and advanced math to data science with new lessons added monthly. I love the data science course on Brilliant because it helps me develop my analytical thinking. And within a few quick lessons, you get to analyze real data and draw interesting conclusions from it. Also, with Brilliant, I can learn and review this and more topics through problem solving, which isn't about memorizing formulas or equations, but learning how to think. And this is a skill that you need to develop if you want to survive in the new AI age, where tools like ChatGPT will get better and better at writing code and doing data analysis. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash thepycoach. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. All right, that's how I've been using ChatGPT Vision as a data analyst so far. If you have a use case that I didn't include in this video, share it in the comment section below. All right, that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next video.